What's up everybody? Bo is here. Let me give you a quick update. As you can see, it's night time. Yes, it is. And the roof is done pretty much. I ratted the wires all inside already. And only a couple more panels left for the walls. And we should be uh, doing the floor and then uh, paint the wall and everything. Oh, wait. Maybe paint the wall first before the floor because so you don't get the floor dirty. Hey, how about that? Uh, anyways, um, yeah, it's coming along. It's coming nice. And uh, just want to give you a, a quick update. That's where we are at right now. Um, not much of the video because uh, there's not much going on. It's just plain wall, so it's boring stuff. All the walls done. All the ceilings done we are ready to paint this time we are going to paint um, stone gray stone white color it has a stone in it so it's kind of uh, it's not a pure or ultra white or polar bear like the other fans this one is a little bit off uh, so it's more kind of like the exterior um, stone in it <laughs> so it's the white color just a little bit off so anyways um, we are going to do that right now let's let's uh, uh, tape up all the sides and then we are gonna paint and leave it overnight so tomorrow we can do our floor before we paint it just want to wipe it off with damp cloth to get rid of you know all the sanding part or, or the wood chip and stuff. It's gonna give it smooth, nice smooth paint. Alright, I don't know you can see the difference in the camera. If you come from this angle, this is glossy. It's a glossy color and uh, it's not much different from the white. It's a little bit of white. Alright, the paint part is done, looks glossy, it's beautiful, it's not too dark color, it's still white, just a little bit off, which we don't want it too dark because we don't want it dark in here, and it's gonna go really, really nice with the other color too, this white color will, will uh, uh, complement with a, a different color really well. So. That's it for tonight. I'm going to leave it overnight, let it cure, and then uh, continue in the morning. All right, see you in the morning. Well, our paint came out nice, perfect. I don't have to do any touch-up over it. And right now, I am focusing on connecting all the, these uh, LED lights to make sure our connections are good. While it's raining on outside, I can't do anything anyways. And our LED light uh, this time is the uh, four inch uh, overall size with three inches in the middle. This is uh, in white and uh, chrome finish on the uh, double ring on the outside. And 100% uh, uh, aluminum on the housing and one inch thick this time. And it has a super strong clip here to uh to 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 uh clip on the uh to the ceiling and you can see i already have uh all of them connected and tested uh good to go and then next i'm going to uh, work on the ceiling fan enclosure right there
time to do our floor today this time I'm using a 5 millimeter this is um, vinyl 100% waterproof it has a an underlayment uh, attached already here and so that's gonna help uh, a lot with the squeaking and the uh, um, uh, insulation and stuff uh, this is 100% waterproof very rigid let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's do this Check this out you guys, this is the last plank right here, just uh, 3 inches left, so we're going to cut the last one in half and then we'll be done with the flooring, just uh, finish up with the edging, we are done with the floor and it comes out nice, don't you like that color, I love gray colors. Our floor is done. So. The, I just need to finish up all the edging and stuff but I just I want to uh, uh, point out if you guys or anybody uh, want to do the same floor use the same floor this is uh, 7 inch 7.13 uh, inches size across by 48 inches and well it doesn't matter, matter what brand it is but this is what I'm using the Home Depot um, you can get it from Home Depot and okay, it again yeah from Home Depot three boxes for a 144 wheel base three boxes I have three planks left so just FYI okay the edging is next Well, I just found out that I ran out of the one inch aluminum to make the, uh, the, the edges. So another trip to Home Depot. In the meantime, let me explain to you how I did this part here. So the factory floor only comes straight to here. And we don't need the whole thing to, um, to uh, make the entrance. So it's going to be a counter here. So it's good to extend a little bit of the property here so what I did was uh, I, I created a, uh, it's like a stand out of the aluminum extrusion angle and then on top of it uh, this is a half inch of plywood then uh, I connect right here with the 90 degrees angle uh, brace underneath right here to attach to to the uh, car body so this is super strong um, and that's what we need and, and at the same time we can save this part for you know extra storage shoes and whatnot so all right and while I'm waiting to go to Home Depot I can plan my layout already And this part was easy this is the factory plate so what I did was I removed it and then after I, I installed the floor I put it back which makes it look so nice it flash the floor flashes with the uh, front um, factory uh, rubber floor right here it makes a nice um, uh, connection right here so and that's it um, 
I'm gonna go uh, make a trip to Home Depot and after that just the edging and then plan my layout and I think I think that's it and this is it for this video and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much